Hey, good morning, scholars and staff. It is now 729. Time to get started with some morning announcements this morning. My apologies, teachers, as it will not, uh, the the uh, loudspeaker is not working very well uh, for us over the past two days. So we are trying to get on there to remind you that it's announcement time. But the good news is all of us are on. So we're going to go ahead and get started anyways. Um, I will say this, teachers, if we cannot get, we have a tornado drill today. So if we cannot get the loudspeaker to work, we will um, do our tornado drill just a little bit differently today on how we announce that. We'll just go room to room and then move kids like that. So I know I just had a couple of teachers uh, get in. So teachers, I just made an announcement that um, we have our tornado drill today at 930. If the loudspeaker is still not working at that time, we would just come room to room and to dismiss you at that time to start the drill. So because we're going to talk about the drill here in just a moment with our scholars. So thank you for the flexible adjustment if it comes to that later this morning to our staff. All right, so today is Wednesday, March the 9th. Man, I'm excited. Halfway point of the week. It's going to be a great week in the Eagle's Nest. And scholars, we want to make sure we're finishing strong on the second half of the week. And one of the ways that we can do that is by following our Fairview 5, right? So that means that we're actively listening to our speaker. So our teachers do phenomenal things each and every day in the Eagle's Nest. So this gives you a chance to stay locked in, especially as we are getting closer and closer to the midpoint of March. So we want to make sure we're doing everything we can in these last few months to get everything we can from our teachers and making sure that we are doing our best, right? So we also want to keep our hands and feet to ourselves. That means that we're also keeping our hands and feet off of the walls, off of the bulletin boards, off of the painting, right? When you're walking down the hallway, you're doing exactly that. You're not walking in picking the paint you're just walking right so making sure that your eyes are straight ahead doing the right thing number three you want to clean up your area this is a big thing right you want to make sure that we're continuing to keep our school community clean this is a big thing that takes all of us right me you and everybody watching number four be kind to others with your words and your actions so hand gestures what we say what we do right our actions all of that right we want to make sure that we're uplifting others and I tell you all the time, and my mama taught me this uh, when I was a little boy, if you ain't got nothing nice to say, don't say it at all, right? So that means we're staying locked in with the teacher, but we're also uh, motivating our uh, friends around us to do the right thing each and every day. That's a skill set that I want you to learn, right? That's a learned trait. So make sure that you are continuing to learn how to serve others and be kind to others every single day. And guess what? It takes zero talent to be kind, absolutely zero talent. So you can be kind every single day and you can continue to work on that every single day. So keep that up, scholars. You've been doing great with that in pockets, but I want to see it across the whole school, right? Let's make sure that we are uplifting each other. Number five, we are doing our best each and every day. I will say that I feel as a, a lot of you bring your best every single day and want to do great things in the Eagle's Nest. I appreciate that. And so do your teachers. So keep that up. All right. So a couple of updates. So a few of these we already know about. Um, I'll start at the very top. A lot of you have received your purple shirt at this time. Uh, I guess um, the rest of you, well, not I guess, the rest of you will receive those either today um, or Thursday or Friday. Um, so make sure that you are um, getting those scholars from Coach Finch. And just as a reminder today for uh, PE classes, so our classroom pictures are happening in the gym today. So if you do, scholars if uh, and teachers, if you do have specials today for gym, if you could still bring them towards the gym and coach will pick them up in front of the gym and then take them um, to where their area is going to be for today and still pass out shirts and all of that. So still just as normal, bring them to the gym and he will take care of the rest. So we do have a tornado drill today, scholars. We're going to talk about that briefly. And then classroom pictures are happening today as well, all throughout the morning. Hey, just as a reminder, when we do classroom pictures, and then when we do drills, scholars, we leave our uh, instructional area, we come down, we practice either the drill, you go in and you do your pictures and you go right back up into the classroom, right? Because we want to make sure that you're getting everything you can today from your teachers. We have a fire drill on Thursday and lockdown drill on Friday. We'll talk about those on Thursday and Friday. But first, we're going to talk about the tornado drill right after we talk about these two things. So first is Class Dojo. Make sure you're getting as many points as you can and you're earning those points 
by following the Fairview Five and doing the right thing. I could see a lot of points going out today if you do the tornado drill the correct way. I think that's a great way to reward you for making sure that you are walking in the hallways the right way, that you're tucking and you're doing everything you can and getting right back into class. I think you just deserve a couple of points if you do that right today, and I'm sure your teachers will hook you up as long as you're doing that the right way. Also making sure we're putting that cell phone up either before or after announcements, whenever your teacher asks you to do so. So make sure you are doing that. So Math Madness is coming up. We know about that and it is going to be a good time with that. But hey, we got a tornado drill today and it is at 930. So the reason it's at 930 is it is uh, between 9 and 930 across the entire district today. Uh, so we want to practice that as it is weather preparation week as we prepare for some spring weather. So we want to make sure that we are following the uh, the following things. So scholars, your teachers will talk to you a little bit about this today if they haven't already done so, but I wanted to highlight a couple of the big things. So at 9.30, either I come over the announcements and teachers, if you got on just a little bit late after I made the announcement, if the loudspeaker is not working today, I keep pointing up because it's right there in my office, but if the loudspeaker does not work today, we will come room to room very quickly and dismiss you at 930 to go to your area. But scholars, either way, when your teacher lines you up and dismisses you, you're traveling to your appropriate area, which is downstairs. Everybody comes downstairs during a tornado drill. You don't want to be on the second level. Um, but everybody's at voice level zero. Really help us out with that because when 400 scholars are moving, it's really good when we're moving quietly so we can hear anything and make sure that we are responding to anything. Scholars, you did great with this the first time we did it. I know you'll do just as well this time. Scholars, when you are in your area, this is the awkward one, right? Where you're in that crouched position with your knees tucked to your chest and your hands over your head. Now listen, I will not keep you in this position very long, but it depends on how long you can get downstairs quiet and in your position. If you can do that like you did the first time we did it, I will not have you do this drill very long at all because I know uh, it's not the most fun thing to do, but during a tornado emergency or a tornado uh, warning, we definitely want to know what to do in case of an emergency. So there's two things that you'll hear us uh, say, a tornado watch and a tornado warning. So a watch means that we are looking at the area, we're watching for maybe a possible tornado because the conditions are what we call favor favorable. So fifth graders, if you're learning about weather and science, or if you've learned a little bit about weather, right, you probably know what the conditions are to be favorable for a tornado. And so with that, a watch means, hey, we're looking to make sure that there's nothing that's going to um, come to the school or come in this area, but at that time you can still remain in your class. But a warning would be that there is a tornado that has been spotted in the immediate area. Uh, so maybe a couple miles away or whatever it may be. And that's when we will move into our um, position downstairs in our tucked position. And remember, as you're our upstairs classes, as you're coming downstairs, you're just finding some areas on the wall, either down towards pre-K, down towards the media center uh, and back around that door. You don't want to be in front of windows. You don't want to be in front of the glass doors uh, right in front of those or anything like that. Definitely in front of one of our cinder block walls and then wait for an all clear announcement. So scholars and staff, you'll either hear that over the loudspeaker today or if you don't hear the all clear, then you'll hear a staff member or assistant principal or principal tell you, hey, it's all clear. You can head back to your class and scholars. I need you to get up be back at voice level zero, head right back to class to get into what you are doing today, okay? So just a couple of reminders today on our announcements. Thanks for giving me a little bit of time um, to roll through that this morning as we prepare for some of our drills. Um, staff, we will get back into Women's History Month tomorrow as we'll highlight um, two of our um, women in history, prominent women in history tomorrow, since we didn't get to do one today. It's 738, so I want to respect your time and get you and get our scholars started for today. Really looking forward to see, seeing you in action today. I hope that you have a fantastic Wednesday. Remember to follow the Fairview Five and give everything you have today and be the best scholar that you can be to finish out these next three days strong as we are continuing to charge forward towards the end of the year. At this time, you are free to go. If the only um, the only teachers I need to stay back today are our fourth grade teachers. So Miss Boone, Miss Harris, and Miss Rowan, if you could stay on Microsoft Teams for just a moment, that would be awesome. But every Everybody else, you are free to go at this time and remember to be great because you are great.